All right, welcome back to GBA Studios, and today is Thursday, January 3rd, 2019, and this is going to be the first broadcast of 2019, and we have a special guest today joining us via Skype. Um, we are happy to have Allison Miskimmons from the Cincy Swish uh, organization down in Cincinnati, Ohio, joining us today. Allison, how's things going today? Great. Thank you for having me on today, John. We appreciate you taking the time and, uh, you know, joining us this morning. And, and uh, you know, we want to wish you a, a very happy new year from the GBA staff. Great. Happy new year to all of you guys as well. Um, you know, we just want to talk a little bit um, you know, the Cincy Swish program, you know, it's the Cincinnati area, and, and then you venture out from the Cincinnati area. It's a well-known organization. Um, so we just, you know, how many years and what is your involvement with the Cincy Swish? Uh, this will be my 10th year and uh, my third year of owning and running the whole program. We do have both girls and boys um, as we play in the, the girl, all of our girls teams do play in the GBA. Yes. So forward to your schedule every year and what we can do to come and play. Yes, and we, we love having the, the Swish uh, organization, the Swish kids. It's always fun to see see you guys each weekend. And uh, so you say, you know, 10 years uh, you've been with the program. How did you get, can you, can you tell us a little bit kind of background, how did you get involved with the Swish program? Yeah, I got involved uh, coaching a third grade team uh, 10 years ago and just took off from there, uh, got to know the previous owner uh, really well, and we just worked really well together. And then when he took on new adventures uh, in his life, then I took over from there. Uh, and, you know, just giving back to the kids and being here in Cincinnati, you know, touching the community and also trying to be involved in any way we can, um, not just basketball, but um, our Swiss Spirit team is going on right now. Uh, coach Mike, who's also my assistant coach, uh, his team's up playing and is going to play this weekend. So it's nice to be able to be involved in the community, um, those special needs kids, uh, being able to play in games as well uh, in the winter season and keeping our kids involved helps us grow into the spring. Yeah, and, and you know, you talk, you know, first of all, I have to give a, a good shout out or a big shout out to Coach Mike Holmes because he's always given us a little <laughs> bit of slack because we don't mention him in, in these broadcasts. But Mike's a great guy and we love seeing him every weekend. But um yeah, you, you know, and the GBA, we kind of kind of touch ourselves on a, on a family atmosphere. It's family run, everything like that. And and the Cincy Swish program, we kind of see that same motto with you guys. It's not just basketball. It's things outside of basketball. It's year long. It's not just two months out of the year, things like that. So so that's what makes your program a very uh, uh, unique and very um, well-respected program. Well, thank you. And that's one reason why we did add boys uh, five years ago was to try to make that uh, exactly that, the family atmosphere, a spot where you could bring, whether you had a son or a daughter or a child with special needs, a basketball home, a basketball family for everybody to be involved in. Uh, you know, we do run teams from third up through high school. So we want to be that, you know, one stop, uh, find your organization, find where you belong. And we hope that's with us. So yeah, thank you and, and, and Parents or players couldn't find a better organization to do that. Um, now, you talked, you, you, you five years ago, we started boys programs. Before that, it was just girls. Um, so how many how many teams, girls teams and boys teams do you now have uh, or are you expecting to have for, for the 2019 season? Uh, we hope to have uh, our returning 35. Uh, if we happen to grow from there, that's always a blessing. But uh, last year we had uh 13 boys teams and uh, 22 girls teams Wow, uh, was the most ever uh, in the last two years. We have been able to grow by 12 teams in those two years. Uh, the, in a lot of areas, I think basketball gets uh, kind of gets left out between soccer and lacrosse or other things, baseball. Um, but we here in Cincinnati seem to get a nice pull of, you know, even multi-sport athletes that can do both and still participate in basketball with us and their school teams uh, to keep it the sport growing strong. Yeah, and that's that's obviously an important factor because, you know, with, with kids are involved in so many different activities, especially, you know, uh, for those who are not familiar with the Cincinnati area, you know, soccer and, and volleyball and things like that is, is also a very popular down there. So I know each week doing schedules, 
you know, there's always scheduling requests with that and, you know, trying to get back and forth between basketball games and soccer games and stuff like that. So it's great that you guys are able to um, work with kids and allow them to do both. Yes, that's what we want. We want them to, you know, be involved in both and not have to choose it at, at a young age. Uh, and then to also, you know, I'll give a shout out to our coaching staff. We are uh, 98% non-parent coaches, which doesn't happen very often either. It's very difficult, but every one of our high school coaches is a high school or college coach. And uh, every one of our coaches on our coaching staff has some sort of high school or um, junior high coaching experience. So we really strive ourselves on that aspect as well. Uh, and that's been one of the keys in leading our program, we think, is just you know, good, solid coaching, bringing the families in and being able to grow from there. Yeah. And that's, that's a great point, you know, with kids, especially at the lower level, you know, how, how you can't stress enough about fundamentals and, 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 you know, you have obviously, you know, parents sometimes get in and they want to be involved and that's great. And some parents that have backgrounds and, and you never want to discourage that. So it's always nice if you can uh, have coaches that have a, um, have a background in coaching, um, have some experience that can help mold not only the players, but maybe maybe uh, parents that, that want to get involved as coaches and they, they could help as, as well. That's that's exactly true. Um, never want to turn away, you know, a good helping hand, but also want to, you know, do what's best for the kids and get, get them out there and show them that, you know, basketball and other sports and, you know, good coaching helps them grow. Well, you know, 35 teams for the Cincy Swish program, and and that's I mean the Cincinnati area. There's there's a lot of lot of organizations, a lot of teams, and for you guys to have that many groups and you, um, you know, 22 on the girls side, 13 on the boys side, that says a lot for your program and and what people think about what you're doing there. So, uh, you know, hats off to you guys for that. Well, thank you. Um, so speaking of teams, um, I know you've got some some important dates coming up for girls and boys teams. Uh, maybe got some tryout dates coming up. If you'd like to tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we do. Our tryout dates uh, are coming up in February. Uh, our girls kick it off with that first Sunday in February. Um, and all of that information can be found on our website for both girls and boys, which is cincyswish.com. And you can register on there as well. Uh, we do two tryout dates per, per grade. Um, everything we do is based on the grade. But you can go on there, find all the information, all your coaches, uh, practice time, schedules. Um, not all the tournament schedules are up yet as we're working with our coaches, but you'll find all of our information on there on uh, if your son or daughter makes one of our teams, who their possible coach would be, what that schedule looks like. Uh, just to show you can plan with your family and, you know, make sure that, you know, we're a good fit for you um, and that, you know, we can make it work with another sport or even just with multi multi kids in different sports as well. So. Sure. That's great. Um, yeah. And, and, you know, if you want to send us that information as well, we'll, we'll make sure we, we post it out on all of our, our um, uh, websites and, and things like that for you, uh, social media um, for kids in the Cincinnati area. But uh, again, uh, you got some important dates coming up. Um, we, you know, we appreciate you joining us this morning. Um, we look forward to seeing not only you, but the rest of the Cincy Swish family, uh, you know, at the GBA here and believe it or not, two months, about two months away. Yeah, we can't wait to have you guys down here for the tip-off and then again for Easter. And uh, always a great pleasure to have you down here in Cincinnati for the Nationals. It's a great event for anybody that hasn't been out there that might be catching this. Uh, plan plan to come down and join them for Nationals that uh, second week or first full weekend in June is usually when it is. Uh, it's a great event. They do it upright. And uh, that's one that we'll give a little shout out for because all of our teams play in that one along with a few others. But yeah, and I, you know, talking about events, you know, you guys uh, are big supporters of our Lauren Hill Classic, um, which is, you know, in Cincinnati this year, you know, coming back for the fourth year. And, and uh, so we want to thank you for, the, for all the support with that over the years and, and help making that event grow. Yeah, and look forward to that big event because that's on a big weekend. Uh, most of our high school teams, if not all of them, will be staying here in Cincinnati to play in that Lauren Hill uh you know, on an exposure weekend. Yeah, you know, and that's that's what you know. That's it is a big weekend. It's a little bit of a twist for the Lauren Hill this this year, uh, but we're excited about it. So you know, planning next month, planning the February 2019, uh, we'll uh, be applying for that certification 
for the Lauren Hill Classic, uh, so it's NCAA certified. So uh, very excited about that as well. Great. All right, Allison, again, we, uh, we want to wish you and all your family and the Sw Cincy Swish family a very happy new year. Uh, thanks for joining us this morning. Again, if you're looking for a team or you have any information, uh, cincyswish.com. Uh, reach out to Allison. Uh, we'll also be posting that information. We'll send it out on our, our GBA Facebook and social media pages as well. Um, if you have any questions, reach out to them. Uh, they'll take care of you in the Cincinnati area. Thanks again, Allison. Have a great day. Thank you. Happy New Year.